Today I want to show you guys a different side of the studio. I want to show you the computer I use, the processor, the RAM, the hard drives, and the software that I use in the studio. True Sound Studios is in your ears. Hey guys, what is up? I'm Wiesna, and as always, we're here at my studio, True Sound Studios. So some of the new questions I've been asked is, what kind of computer do you have? Like, how much RAM, how many hard drives do you have? So that's where this video comes in. I wanna show you guys the behind the scenes stuff. I wanna show you my computer, all the extra things that I have connected to the computer that makes this whole digital audio workstation work with all my analog gear. Okay, let's get into it. So I've been building my own computers for about 15 years now. So I have a pretty good idea of, you know, how to choose parts and components that are gonna work together to give me not only a powerful computer, but a computer that is gonna do what I want it to do. Now I chose the Asus Maximus 7 Hero motherboard. Now this thing is 4K ready and can run Windows 8. Now technically this is a gaming motherboard, but from what I read, a gaming motherboard is really nothing more than just a high performance motherboard. So then to give my motherboard some processing power, I got the Intel i7 processor. So particularly, this is the i7-4790K. Now this is a quad core or four core processor. Now when it shows up in Cakewalk Sonar Platinum, it actually shows up as eight cores because of the hyper threading. So far, I haven't been able to top out this processor. Even running sometimes up to 200 plugins per project, this processor still hasn't hit 100% processing power. So to work along with the i7 processor, I purchased two eight gig sticks of RAM. Now this is DDR3 RAM, and the manufacturer is HyperX, and it's, it is the Fury model. So because I put another computer in my living room to edit all these videos at night, I actually took eight gigs out of my recording computer and put it in my video editing computer. So for the last four months, I've actually only been running on eight gigs of RAM with the i7 processor, and I honestly haven't even noticed a difference in processing. So what does that tell you? That i7 processor, even with eight gigs of some really fast DDR3 RAM, is really more than enough that I need to run my studio. So my recording computer has three main drives. The first drive is a solid state drive, and that is the system drive. Now the system drive only has programs on it. So I don't store any audio files or mix downs or projects on there because God forbid anything ever happened and I had to reinstall the operating system or programs, I can just go ahead and wipe out that one drive and it won't affect any of my projects or anything else. So my last two drives is where I store all my projects, my tracking files, my mix downs, my masters, and my samples. Now currently both of those drives are actually like a traditional spinning disk drive, but I did just go out and buy two brand new solid state drives to replace those. So I'm hoping for even better performance when it comes to latency. Now for like archiving and backup, I have three external Western digital drives. I actually bring two of them into the house just in case the studio burned down or if somebody broke in here. And then the drive that's actually in the studio is a three terabyte drive. And essentially what I do is just, as I'm working on projects, I go ahead and back up every single week to that drive so that I just have one extra backup just in case something happens. Now for the rest of the 12 drives I have, I have a docking station. And this way you can easily swap in and swap out hard drives, but the thing is, is that's really stuff I just store for myself, just in case for whatever reason I would wanna go back to a really old project and be able to open it again. So I have quite a few PCI Express card slots on my motherboard, and the only one right now is being currently used is the SSL Matty Extreme card. And this is how I get the digital information from my SSL converters to my computer. Okay, so obviously we're talking about this recording computer. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so my recording computer is buried in the back of the storage room, really not in an area 
that makes it easy to film, but this is it. So as you can see, this is the cooling fan for the processor, the i7 processor. Um, currently, I'm only running eight gigs of DDR3 RAM. Now I actually do have 16 gigs of RAM, but currently I took the eight gig out right now and put it in my uh, video editing computer for the moment while I just went ahead and ordered some new RAM. So over here, this is the SSL Matty card. Um, this goes into a PCI Express slot. So then towards the top of the computer, you can see I have a Corsair 700 watt power supply to handle all the power for the computer. And then I have uh, a good old CD-ROM drive. Uh, Sometimes I burn like DVD backups for clients if they really want it. And then up there is a three terabyte Western digital drive. And essentially that's just to like back up and archive things. So another thing I just bought is this docking station. And what this will allow me to do is just be able to swap my hard drives that I have in storage um, into my computer very easily. I don't have to pull cables out. You can actually put two drives right in the top of this. It's hot swappable. It's USB 3, so it's really fast and it's a great way to be able to pull in and out hard drives on your computer. So to cool this monster, there is a three inch fan at the very bottom of the case here. And that one is permanently always on. That turns on right with the computer. But for some extra cooling in the really hot summer days, this actually came from a server rack, but it provides a ton of cooling. It moves a ton of air. So all the cables from the computer run down through a conduit and go out into the control room. Okay, so we're talking about this computer that I'm telling you is so fast, but now what I wanna do is I wanna open up a project and show you guys how good this computer is at processing a really big project. Okay guys, so here is the project. Uh, if you take a look at it, we start all the way up here. You see we got a whole bunch of drums, a ton of guitar channels. Uh, look at all those lead channels. Um, all guitar, rhythm guitar, and then we got clean guitar, bass, bass leads, a whole bunch of like synth processing stuff and then all of the vocals and then plus a whole bunch of stuff that we're saving. Um, I moved the control bar in the middle here so you could see this is where, this is the performance part of it. So these are all of our CPU meters. But right down here, this is actually how much memory I'm using. So as you can see there, I'm only using 25% of the memory. All of the plugins, I mean, there is channel strips on almost every single thing we got drum replacement plugins and just a ton of stuff to go a little further here's all of our buses uh these are all buses and all the buses even have plugins on them for the most part and then we're also running all 20 outputs um, from the ssl converters so Let's go ahead and start this and just and just watch these CPU meters and the memory usage. So as you can see, we got all the audio now playing. Now, obviously, depending on the buses and what's going on, stuff isn't going to be going on in every single channel. But I'm just trying to show you, you know, essentially how much this computer can process. Um, we do have 75 physical total tracks. Um, obviously, once again, not all of them are playing, but if you look over at these CPU meters, you know, maybe that first CPU meter is getting to about a third of the usage on it, but you can see all eight cores are up there and there may be somewhere around 25%. Our memory usage has still stayed at 25%. And once again, this is still running eight gigs of RAM. So uh, once again, that's why I was saying that I didn't really notice anything when I took the eight gigs out and it's because I'm not really using much, um, even on a project that is this big. So True Sound Studios is a non-Apple, non-Pro Tools studio. I'm currently running Windows 7 64-bit professional and my DAW is Cakewalk Sonar Platinum. So that is my recording studio computer. The thing is a beast, knock on wood. <laughs> it has been really, really good to me for the last probably almost two years now. And to this day, the computer has just been rock solid and it's been able to process anything that I throw at it. So I didn't go to school for like computer science or anything. I've learned all this from 
watching YouTube videos and, you know, reading about computers and parts and how things all work together so that I at least can make some good educated decisions on how to build a computer and choose components that are gonna work for what I want them to do. So I hope this video helped you guys out on how to upgrade or build your own recording computer. So if you guys like this video, consider subscribing and hit that like button. Follow us on Instagram for daily posts. You can find the beats that I make right here at the studio on our SoundCloud page. True Sound Studios also mixes and masters your tracks. So once again, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm Wiesna, we're at True Sound Studios, and True Sound Studios is in your ears.